Hello everybody, this is Jay Boss from Jay Boss Bushcraft. Um, as you can see in the frying pan, I have some water here. This is actually seawater from the Lawrencetown Beach in Nova Scotia. Uh, nice clean seawater down in that area, and the oven is set in a high. And there's been about six liters evaporating out of here so far, um, or a gallon and a half if you're American. Um, and what I do is I, I went to the beach and I, I had five of these jugs and I filled up all of them. And there's about four liters or one gallon per jug. And I simply take a filter and I put it in the strainer. Then I strain the seawater through the filter, just a coffee filter, um, into the jug. And then I pour the water into the frying pan. Again, there's been about six liters uh, evaporating here. And before I put the water actually in the frying pan, I'll, I'll microwave it for three minutes to preheat that. Uh, doing salt this way is definitely not cost effective. Uh, sea salt can be purchased at a store for a lot less than the electricity uh, cost to doing this, uh, this type of method. Um, the best way to do this is on a campfire. Uh, you can have a campfire running all day for free. And uh, I will be showing you this, uh, this method uh, on a campfire in a couple of days. Anyways, I just wanted to get uh, started here and show you how to make salt. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in half an hour and I'll show you where I'm at. And, and I'll probably pour another uh, jug or two of water in this just to keep it going. And uh, as the, the system goes on, you'll see this water slowly become murky and like a whitish color. Um, this, the sea salt actually doesn't turn out white. It actually turns out uh, kind of a beige color. Um, but anyways, I'll uh, come back in a half an hour. Bye-bye. Back here for part two of my video on how to make uh, sea salt. I'm still boiling water down. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually uh, do a little filtering here. I'll take a coffee filter and put it in the strainer. Let's see if I can do this with one hand while I'm holding the camera. And I'll just take the uh, the jug of seawater and filter this out. Just take a second or two for this to go down. You have to filter the uh, the water because you'll get you know twigs and some sand in there. Salt just tastes better. The salt itself is absolutely outstanding. I've already made a couple batches. Um, I just filled up this uh, frying pan here just a few seconds ago before I started this video on how to filter the uh, the water. And uh, it's good to uh, stir this every now and then. Just to you to keep the uh, salt off the bottom of the pan, and the more water you boil out, the mir uh, murkier the water gets. <clears throat> See where we're at here on this. Yeah, this one's here's full. Full. So I'll just finish straining this out. Move this out of the way. Now I like to get this to room temperature and then microwave it for three minutes. It's just a uh, speeds up the the boiling process a lot faster <clears throat> Excuse me. and filter it a little bit more out here I've already done five jugs um, six jugs six gallons will make almost a gallon of salt believe it or not So what I'll do now is I'll, uh, you can see I've got some water filtered out here and, and I'll just boil these last two containers out here and I'll come back uh, for part three of this uh, series on how to uh, make salt from salt water and uh, show you what the final product look like, looks like. Uh, bye for now. Okay, Jay Boss here from Jay Boss uh, Bushcraft. Uh, just uh, finishing off the salt here. I just turned the, uh, the oven from high to uh, down to around six, and you can see that it's really getting thick here. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you don't burn your salt. It'll uh, turn a funny color. Um, so I'm just uh, starting to whisk whisking it in. Now there's actually going to be a lot of salt come off the edges like that, and uh, when this is dry, I'll actually scrape that completely off and get more more salt. Actually, quite a bit more. It's quite thick there. You can see this cakes off. 
So anyways, um, it's going to take about, uh, I've been doing this for about two hours now. It's going to take about uh, probably another 10-15 minutes of just stirring it um, and slowly lowering the temperature as I do it. And uh, I'll come back and uh, um, do a finishing video. Thank you. Okay, just finishing up the uh, salt. Um, I got a lot of salt, salt here. I, uh, I used uh, three gallons from, right from the very start. It took uh, about two hours to, uh, to evaporate it down. I'm just drying it out now. And what you want to do is keep the uh, oven on very low and uh, move it around the pan. And when the, you scrape it away and the pan's actually dry, then it's uh, just about done. But you can see in areas like that, it's uh, still moist. You want 100% dry salt. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please uh, subscribe and uh, have a great day. Bye. And here is the final product. The salt completely dry. I'm about ready to put it in a container. You can see that it makes an absolute ton of salt, just uh, three, three uh, gallons. So yeah, so I've got the stove on low and I've been kind of drying the salt for about 15-20 uh, minutes here. And anyways, uh, there's your final product. Have a great day and uh, make lots of salt. Bye-bye.